going on guys? It's Wes here from Coastal Budget Builds. So today I want to show you guys um, a little bit on the Datsun that I've been working on. But also, I've had a lot of people ask me to explain what turbo flutter is and how turbo flutter um, works on your motor. So I have my Datsun not fully built yet. It's kind of at a point where there's coolant lines that have to be ran and a bunch of the wiring and stuff. But what I can do is I can give you a walkthrough kind of and try and explain to you <clears throat> what turbo flutter is and why it happens. Also, I just want to show you guys this car because it's so cool. I'm so happy with the way the build's turned out so far. So not only will I show you the Datsun, but I will also give you a little quick explanation to the best of my knowledge. Now, I'm not a professional. I, I do this for fun and I enjoy it. So from the best of my knowledge, I'll try and explain to you what Turbo Flutter is. So here we go. Hey boys, here she is. Now, <clears throat> this project has been a bit of a gong show. We don't really know what's going to happen. We just decided to throw it together and start working on it. This uh, motor is an L28, I presume. Yeah, it's an L28 out of a 280ZX. And what we've done is we've removed all the fuel injection and built a four barrel intake for it. And that's a um, Edelbrock 650. Yes, I know it's massive, but that's just the way it goes around here. And then the turbo is off um, a 5.9 Cummins. <laughs> it's an HC1. You can see it's got a big compressor wheel there. She's a beast. Anyway, so I don't know if it's going to work or run or what it's going to do, but that's kind of the whole point of building crazy projects is you really don't know what's going to happen, and it's kind of exciting. So that's it. We haven't really done anything to the motor. It's basically bone stock stock internals and everything so we just gave it a little bit of a cleanup painted it made it look a little bit better but yeah anyways that's enough of that so now I'll explain to you what turbo flutter is so you got your compressor wheel in there right so this is this is the cold side of the turbo and this is what feeds into your carburetor now I'm gonna use carburetor as the um, is how I explain in this video. Usually it's people fuel inject it or whatever, but this right here in simplified form blows boost through this outlet and goes into the carburetor. Usually there's a hat on top of here, which we still haven't built yet, but the carb hat goes on here. It's bolted right onto here and then it goes across to the compressor side of the turbo. Now, what turbo flutter, that like Joo -joo -joo sound, you know, you hear all those like big Supras and stuff like that making that sound. What's happening is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's also not good. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. Like it takes um, the life out of your turbo slowly, depending on how much boost you're running. So what happens is you've got, I know the exhaust is on this side. The exhaust goes down wraps around the motor, comes up through this pipe into the hot side of the turbo which spins obviously and then you have your exhaust coming out of here to a pipe that goes wherever, somewhere down in that hole. But when this is spinning, this also spins a compressor wheel in here and that's forcing boost into your carburetor. Now in your carb you have um, butterfly valves so let's see if you can see it in here. Uh, you can't really see it. Hold on, let me get a flashlight. Pause for a second. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So inside your carburetor, man, this is a pain in the ass. Okay. You can see them down there. And there's those flaps that open and close, which allow air and fuel into your motor. So what happens is you've got your compressor over there blowing fat boost into your carburetor when you open the throttle those valves that are closed like this they open so you can imagine they're opening and the boost is blowing into the motor blah 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 so on and so forth when you release your gas pedal 
So when you let off your gas and those snap close, like through when you're shifting through gears or whatever, just if you're under boost and you let off, they snap shut. So the only way the boost can go is when those snap shut, all the boost coming out of here blowing into the carburetor has nowhere to go. So it stops and hits those um, butterfly valves and then gets shoved back through the compressor housing and into the turbine. What the turbine does is when it's spinning and it's boosting away, it's producing air, but as soon as that back pressure comes from the carburetor back down into here, this compressor wheel shudders as it tries to slow down because of the, the pressure going back into the compressor wheel. That's where you get that flutter sound from. Now you can only imagine that that is probably pretty hard on the bearings because um, that thing's spinning at who the fuck knows how fast. It's just giving her shit. So it's spinning and then all of a sudden it has pressure and all that pressure goes back into it and causes it to stop. Now it doesn't stop completely but that that air forces the turbine to slow down drastically. And that's where you get the um, the flutter sound from. So that's not good. But it's also not that bad as well. Like you're not going to kill your turbo right off the hop. But that's what they invented blow-off valves for. So what a blow-off valve does is you can imagine with the carb hat and the pipe that goes to here. Um, if you had a blow-off valve sticking out the side. When that boost pressure builds up in the carburetor and you snap the, the throttle shut. All that boost comes back and then it has force on the... Um, force on the blow-off valve that is actually vacuum controlled from the intake. So as soon as the intake sends a signal to the blow-off valve, that pressure doesn't have time to go back into the turbine wheel. It'll actually go out the blow-off and then it'll be okay. So the compressor wheel can keep turning and it keeps the pressure roughly about the same. Also having a blow-off valve that's hooked up properly will keep the turbine spinning at a even speed. Also, if you if you reroute your blow off into your intake system, you can actually if if you know how to do it, I have no idea. That's like some really technical crap, but if you reroute it back into your intake, you can actually get the turbo to spool more efficiently. So that's what the uh um uh, 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 yeah, that's what turbo flutter is. That's the best explanation I can give of it. If you have any other ideas of how to explain it better or whatever, go ahead, leave them in the comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I will also give you a quick rundown of what uh, wastegate does, external and internal wastegate. So stay tuned for more videos and thank you so much for watching.